Hi, my name is Erin, and I'm a registered nurse. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to correctly collect a COVID-19 nasal swab sample. Before we begin, here are a few important reminders. First, your sample must be either returned for shipment to the laboratory or returned to your designated sample drop-off location on the same day as the day you collect your sample. Second, to minimize delays in processing your sample, please ensure you only collect your sample Monday through Friday. Also, UPS may stop collecting at 4 p.m. or earlier. Please check before you begin the collection process. If you're ready, then let's get started. First, open up the sample collection kit and lay out the contents on a clean surface. Please locate the sample identification label that is included in the materials. This contains your activation code. Next, activate your kit by going to mybinkshealth.com forward slash activate and enter the unique activation code located on the sample identification label. If you prefer, you can also scan the QR code on the Quick Start card with your phone. If you're a returning user, you will need to log in to your account before activating your kit. If you are part of a university or employee testing program, you may be required to use a specific email address to create your account. Now let's start the collection process for your sample. Please locate your sample identification label. You will now need to fill out the rest of the label in pen by including your name, date of birth, as well as the current date, time, and time zone in which you collect your sample. In some cases, your identification label may already have your name and date of birth pre-printed. Once you've filled out the label, fill off the backing and place the label, like this, around the long side of the swab tube. For nasal swab collection, you may have received either a swab in a peel pouch, like this, or a swab inside a tube, like this. Please determine which version you have and set it aside for now. Before we move to the next step, please wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water for a full 20 seconds. Once your hands are dry, remove the sterile swab from its container. It is very important that you do not touch the swab tip with your hands or have it come in contact with any other surface. If it is a pill pouch, open the package where indicated. Leave the swab in the package for now. If your swab comes in a tube, pull up to remove the cap from the collection tube. Carefully insert the swab approximately one half inch or one centimeter into one nostril. Do not push the swab into your nose any further. Slowly rotate the swab in a circular path against the inside of your nostril at least four times for a total of 15 seconds. Once you've completed these steps with the first nostril, do the same process using the same swab for the other nostril. It is important to collect your sample from both nostrils. When you have finished collecting your sample, you will carefully place the swab, tip first and without touching the swab tip with your hands, into the swab tube and close the tube tightly until you hear a click. Now, let's show you how to properly prepare your sample for return to the laboratory for testing. As a reminder, we want to ensure that you're collecting and returning the sample on the same day. Begin by placing the swab tube containing the swab in the clear bag. Even though the swab sample is dry, please do not remove the absorbent pad. Seal the bag by tearing off the strip like this to expose the adhesive, then fold the top of the bag over. After collecting your sample, remember to wash your hands again with soap and water for 20 seconds for sanitation. Once your hands are dry, place the sealed sample bag in the cardboard shipping box and close it shut. Place the cardboard shipping box inside the large shipping bag and seal tightly. If you are part of a university or testing program, you may not be provided with an individual return envelope and can drop off your kit just in the box. If you have been provided with a designated drop-off location for your collection kit, please return your kit to that location on the same day. If you're at home and you are shipping your sample back to the laboratory, you can either arrange a UPS collection by going to this site, or you can drop it off at any UPS access point, drop box, or store. Remember to check that your UPS access point is still open in time for you to send in your sample that day. 
Once the laboratory has received your properly collected sample, it will be processed. We will contact you if there are any issues. Your results will be reviewed by a licensed healthcare professional and then securely transmitted to your personal Binks dashboard. You will receive an email or text when your results are ready. Log in to mybinkshealth.com forward slash login to review them. If your test result is positive, a licensed healthcare professional will reach out to you with next steps. Thank you for using Binks. Have a great day.